Hey everybody, what's going on? James here. I got myself an unboxing I'm going to do. This comes from Florida. This was a live coral buy from WWC. It was a 24 hour event. Uh, my buddy Ian McAlpin uh, told me about it and him and I spent the entire 24 hours in chat and in uh, Reef to Reef doing this live body. So, this is where we're at. Uh, so a lot of business cards and whatnot. Let me just show you real quick some of the events that are going on. That's Reef Palooza. That's down there in Orlando, Florida. Got myself a $50 gift card. That's pretty awesome. So, and then a couple of little business cards as well from Worldwide Corals. All right. So, and just some basic instructions. Had to sign for the package. Let me just show you guys real quick what I got here. Got the Kiwi Lithophyllin, I guess that's how you say it. Aiken Micromusa, Rainbow Ozzy Aiken Lord, WWC Icebreaker Watermelon Chalice, Orange Leptoceros. WWC Toxic Waste Aquapora, WWC Sour Apples, WWC Psycho Pinks, Orange Lipsophylon, and Blood Red Cyphasteria. So, did really well on this live buy. And comes in a nice cooler. Let's see if we get this guy out of here. My phone is going totally deep, I see. This is always fun for me. Just cooling out of these boxes. This weighs about nine pounds. Oh, you like that side action? That was pretty cool, right? And I always keep these things because you never know when you're going to need them to acclimate and just to ship things out in general. So, I mean, these are like the best coolers around. I think Arctic Cool is the other version. And I only cut three sides that way, the lid stays hinged on. Very, very nice pack. Really warm. It fell off the actual lid. It did belong right up here. So that's that. Let me make sure you guys are still in there. Let me go with all the newspaper. Let me just get my little tray thing here. I usually put everything in. Gives the actual name of the coral. Wow, they get these guys rubber band up big time. Uh, I will end up floating these things and then dripping them for a while to get them acclimated to my actual water parameters. So for now, we'll just get these guys out of the bags. Probably not going to see him too well. That's the Rainbow Ozzy Aiken Lord. Everybody knows I love the Aikens. Top.
toxic waste acro. He's inside of his own little cup. So, see my hands are a little wet. This here is called Psycho Pinks. I think it's focusing. These are some zoanthids. Really pretty zoanthids, I might add. And you've got the Icebreaker Chalice. This dude is super, super pretty. Doesn't look like it right here, but unreal how this guy looks. And then we've got the Orange Leptosaurus. He's upside down. He's probably not too happy, but there he is right there. All right, let me just go drop these guys in my fried system real quick. Get them started. Got a can micromusa. This one is really, really pretty. Probably not going to do it justice inside this bag, but unreal a can. Really pretty a can. This is the blood blood red cyphasteria. Everybody knows I have the one cyphasteria. Probably not gonna be able to see him very well, but I've got another one of those. This is the Kiwi Lithophyllin. Really pretty little guy. To me, it kind of resembles a chalice. It might actually be a type of chalice. I'm not really sure. That's definitely a new name to me. Here we got the orange lithophylon. He's right down in there. Like I said, the lighting doesn't do these guys justice. Probably also the fact they're probably not too happy at the moment. And then of course the sour apples. These are another form of zoanthid as well. Alright, so Get these guys in the water. Let me just switch my camera around here real quick just to show you where they're at now. They're under the uh, regular actinics of the what do you call it the LED I don't know how well you could actually see their colors at the moment let's see if this can give it any justice or not I kind of doubt it but no nah, I really doubt it's going to help out let's see if I can change the white balance any No, it's really not going to help out, is it? But you can kind of get the idea. Some of them have some really pretty color to them. 
But anyways, I'm gonna get these guys acclimated and then I will continue the video after this point. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, James here. I'm back. I got everything acclimated. Now I've got them into the reef tank. So let me just go over them real quick with what I've actually got. These all came from a 24-hour live buy from uh, Worldwide Corals. We had to actually stay there for 24 hours. Me and uh, my buddy Ian McAlpin ended up doing it. It was tough, but we had some good buys. So anyways, I'm going to show you what I got. And that'll be it. And these are all under halides and actinic, by the way. So let's see how this works out. All right, those right there are called Psycho Pinks, those Zoas. I'm sure under actinics alone, they'd probably be a, a lot prettier. Okay, but that's the Psycho Pinks. This right down here is what you call the Sour Apple. He looks pretty sour at the moment. He looks a little mad. <laughs> but both of those guys are actually mounted on the rock already. So that is what it is. Over here, this is what you call the Blood Red Cyphasteria. I don't know how good of a picture I'm going to get of it from where he's at right now. That's really the only spot that I could actually find on my sand bed that was worth the beans to get him in there at the moment. Yeah, I can't really get a great shot of him. He's basically one of these guys right here, but he's called a Blood Red. Um, then right here we've got the zoom in here let's see if we can get a zoom that's what you call the rainbow Ozzy Aiken Lord that's another one to join the rest of my rainbows over here you've got what's called an Aiken Micromusa that's actually a really pretty blue with the uh, reds in one that uh, up here, this one is called the Kiwi, uh, let me think what the name of it is, I have my sheet here, hold on one second, it's called a Kiwi Lithophyllin, some weird names, but ki Kiwi Lithophyllin, alright, um, that one right there is a, supposedly an orange Lithophyllin, that one right over here is what they call an orange uh, Leptoceras. This right here is what you call the uh, Toxic Waste Acropora. Um, who else we got? That's my Black Hole Aiken. Looking pretty good. He's actually healing up pretty nicely now. Yo Jimbo Chalice. This right here is called the Icebreaker Watermelon Chalice. He's got like really pretty blues and yellows and greens and reds. But unfortunately under this lighting you really can't tell. Uh, so that's it. We got one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's right. All right. So that's what I got going on at the moment. I'm just curious if I shut off these actinics here real quick. If this helps any of my coloring, I kind of doubt it. But let's just see what the regular halides do yeah I don't think it's gonna do any of them much justice really yeah it kind of made them worse because it needs that red color to really bring them out <coughs> all right so anyways that's what I got these are all new corals from Orlando Florida I think it is somewhere in Florida I believe it's Orlando yeah Orlando Florida this is the actual company that they came from.